Hello, gamers and drow alike. I'm Hireth, and I don't know if I've ever said my name on camera before. Today's video, I intended to be about the history and society of drow, for like many species, we do live in a society. However, I decided that instead of that, I could back up and explain a little more baseline about our culture, starting with the founder, and why she's not as bad as everyone says she is. Today I'm talking about Loth, also known as Loth, or the Queen of the Demon Web Pits. She has many other names, though, but those are the most common ones. However, she's also called the Dark Mother, the Mother of Lust, Lady of Chaos, Spider Bitch, the Weaver, the Queen of Spiders, and I think a few others. Oh yeah, the Black Queen, Demon Queen of the Abyss, that's just a lot of words, but I'm not allowed to say that, for I will be killed. Lady of Trickery and Destruction, Weaver of Poison of Fate, Ruler of the Material Worlds of Spiderkind, and Her Eightfold Majesty. Vriska would be proud. Now, today I discuss Loth. Loth, as many know, is the drow goddess. I discussed her back in my video about Corlor Norentheon. Hard to believe that that was six weeks ago. I mean, I guess it isn't that hard to believe, and one considers my update schedule is bi-weekly, or perhaps bi-monthly. And uh, my last video was me goofing around in front of a camera. Anyway. Loth was born as a surface elf goddess. Oronshi, Oroshi, Oroshni. A goddess of destiny. Corallon's wife. And later, goddess of the dark elves. She grew ambitious and began to plot against her husband. Initially, this consisted of her aiding Grumsh or Grumish, the Orc God, against killing Corallon. Corallon has long since hated the Orcs, and vice versa, and so she did the right thing by aiding their greatest leader in killing this racist crusader against all kind. It failed due to some bigot intervening. Later, more stuff happened. I'm not actually allowed to talk about this. I'm not a cleric, so I can only say what I know. Anyway, Oroshni later began a full-on rebellion and started a war among the gods of the elves. They laid a split in two. The surface elves and the superior elves. And now we live underground for the rest of it, really. Loth was the first drow, and so her ambition was a part of her. A very piece of her being. For Corlon to not allow her to exult in that is to cut off a piece of yourself. One should always be who you are, no matter what it is. Just because Corlon doesn't think it's the right thing to be or the right thing to do doesn't mean that he's right. In fact, I would say he really is. Now, Loth has more family than just her stinky ex-husband. Most notably, the eternal teenager and fool Varun. Varun? Varon. Varon. The masked lord, the shadow lord, the shadow, the masked mage, the lord of shadow, or the masked god of night. He's one of the few male drow gods. And he's more of a thief than a cleric as she is. He has the stupid view that drow males and females should be equal, which would give us more of a termite aesthetic than a spider aesthetic. You know, actually, now that I think of it, it doesn't really make sense that drow are spider aesthetics. Really, having a queen that rules over it, and then various soldiers and females that do the work, and then mostly useless males that are really just there to be bags you milk the birth fluid out of is... Really more of an ant thing, wouldn't you say? Anyway, because Varun is 
a Tumblr OC, his eyes change color to reflect his moods. He's something of a rebellious spirit, someone who fights Loth. Veron is ambitious, but he does it against Loth, which is not the correct thing to do. He also is a male, which means that he's not valid to begin with. Now, Veron, I mention, because he has a son, Selvatarm, also known as the champion of Loth, or the spider that waits. He's called the son of Loth, even though he's a grandson, but Drow aren't known for having particularly logical, you know, family origins. He's a war god, a fighter straight up and down. And he serves Loth and fights his dad. Now, Loth leads a pantheon called the Dark Seldarin, which is a cooler version of the normal Seldarin, which is Corlan Lorenthian's pantheon. There are, of course, more gods in that Seldarin. There's Gonadaw, who is a sort of slime and ooze god. There's Kyriansali, a goddess of undead and more of a necromancer than a cleric. Melek and Zinzerea. Zinzerina. Interesting. There's also Keptola, who isn't really in the Seldarin, but he is kind of a male drow god, but we don't really need to talk about him. He's irrelevant. Loth existed in an environment where she was stifled, unable to really be herself. And, um, of course, even if... A certain Coral on Laurentheon did not agree with that self. She still should have been able to be it. Of course, this is able to justify every atrocity she committed, including all the genocide and the uh, institutionalized random killings of surface elves. Oh yeah, if you've never heard of that, the uh, surface elves will sometimes be subject to raids by the drow. We'll just kind of go up there and kill them. It's a pastime, actually. All in the name of freedom. And that's the most important thing about Trow Society. We do have that freedom, unless you're a man, to really just go fucking crazy. Anyway, I certainly was talking about something at some point, but I just got all misty-eyed. Anyway, Loth was free to create a world where she was completely in control of things. This led to her great appreciation for things like sacrifice. Because really, if you can't appreciate a good sacrifice, you've never really lived. Now, Loth is subject to the whims of the above gods as well, and is forced to defend herself from them. Which I think is the reason that we're supposed to kill the surface elves, but really we just do it because it's a lot of fun. Now, Loth. Hmm. Well, it certainly seemed to do nothing wrong. That should be fine, right? Dramatic entrance. My son, you have failed me and committed crimes against Loth. For this, I condemn you to a lifetime of falling from dimension to dimension, never again to find a home anywhere. Ah, strange. Well, it looks as though I'm being sucked away to another dimension for punishment for my crimes against Loth, I think? Um, yes. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, assuming that I haven't been torn apart by vacuous space powers and such. I uh, guess I'll talk about Drow and other dimensions after this, because that makes sense, right? Anyway. I've been here, and fuck off.